Steph just did a review of how the first six months of 2024 was for me. And I gotta say that every time I do a review of some sort, I always felt like a lot has happened in the past and I'm always surprised. Like if you were to look at my album in the past six months, you would think that it is a highlight reel for a year for a lot of people. And that's the thing about me. I'm the kind of person who tries to live my life to the fullest. I'm not the kind of person who would just go to work for a nine to five and come home, have dinner and binge Netflix or scroll on TikTok for the rest of the night. I'm the kind of person who makes dinner plans or find activities like wall climbing or bouldering with friends or I would sign up for candle making workshop or painting workshop and speaking of painting like even when I am at home I try to find things to do that kind of nourishes my creative soul like I started doing this painting by numbers thing recently and that's something that I have been just having fun doing for like an hour or half an hour every day And on top of that, I would also be like recording podcast episode or editing videos or creating digital templates and selling them online. Like I'm the kind of person who is always busy doing something. And that is how I approach life. I like to live life to the fullest. And even though sometimes it can be really tiring and like the time just passes by in a blur, I'm really glad that I have this habit of doing reviews like what I'm doing right now because every time when I do it, that is when I am filled with so much gratitude of how rich and full my life has been. And in today's episode, I kind of want to make this like a mid-year motivation kind of video because I know how sometimes when half of the year has passed and you realize that you have not achieved anything in your new year's resolutions or things that you said you would do in the year it can be filled with a lot of guilt and shame because you are not moving forward but i think that that is just something that we need to kind of fight through and with six months left in the year there are still so much that you can achieve and you can still do so to start this episode i want to first encourage you to allocate some time this week to just review on how the first six months of the year has been for you. You can do so by going through your calendar and check out all the events that have happened for you. Or you can also scroll through your camera roll, like your photo albums to look at the photos that you have taken to remember the things that have happened. Or if you are someone like me where you actually do a weekly reflection, It is also a great time for you to open up all those previous entries and kind of read through your mood and your thoughts in the past six months. So that's what I've done in the past week and actually listed all of the items down that happened and it really made me feel so rich doing that. And if your page looks really empty, right, it's not too late to make things happen for you in the next six months. And if your page is very full, then great job. I'm really, really happy for you. And I would actually quite like to hear how was the first six months for you? So if you are listening on Spotify, I'm going to put up a poll that asks you, how was the first half of 2024 for you? Please go and vote there because I'm quite curious to hear if your first half was great or was it meh? Okay, coming into what I wanted to share. I'm going to be completely honest with you. The final weeks leading up to the end of June, I was mostly anxious and stressed out. And that is because at the start of this year, I set up a New Year's resolution to actually launch my digital template business as soon as the first quarter of the year. But the second quarter is coming to an end and I have not officially launched yet. I had a lot of thoughts going on in my mind, like, was I not trying hard enough? Was I not disciplined enough? Do I not want this enough? Or am I just too afraid to try again because I failed in 
running a business before. And to cope with all these thoughts that I had, right? In the past couple of weeks, I've been reading so many money mindset books, business books, just to give myself the confidence to push myself through. And surely and slowly, I am making progress. And that's when I realized like, I actually did make progress throughout this past six months. It is just slower than I expected it to be. And so I want to talk to you about living with intentions versus living with goals. So I was looking back at the very inspired and hopeful entries that I had at the start of the year when I was writing down my newest resolution and I was reminded that I decided that my word of the year for 2024 is create. I really wanted 2024 to be the year where I'm focusing on creating my dream life, on creating content that speaks right to your heart. I really wanted to create digital solutions that help people to change their lives. And I really wanted to create a new revenue stream for myself. And yet, in the process of chasing my number one New Year's resolution, which is to launch my business, I kind of lost track of my intention. So you see, the goals that you set, they are the destination that you want to go. And the intention that you set is your why. It is your purpose, the reason on why you want to do something. And I felt like in the past six months, I was so focused on my goals that I forgot about my intention. And I felt like a failure because I kept thinking that I've not achieved the results yet. I am not there yet. I am a failure. Like those were the thoughts that I had. But looking back now, Although I have not fully launched my business that's making like big profits or anything like that, in the past six months, indeed, I have designed and created a business model that I think is going to work for me. I have created my product offerings, like I have completed four templates and have already shared it out. And there are still some work in progress templates that I cannot wait to share with you and to launch it online. And I've also kind of worked on the flow of my expected customer journey, as well as the flow of how I want to introduce all these templates to you on my podcast episodes. Like I've actually done a lot of behind the scenes things. And it's not that I've not done anything yet. And I think it's just because I've kind of underestimated how much time and energy is required to manage all these three jobs that I have. Like at this moment when I'm talking to you, I'm still working full time as the chief of staff at my day job. And I am producing weekly episodes on my podcast. And I'm a content creator that's kind of posting consistently on Instagram and on TikTok. And I'm also a digital product business owner right now. Like I feel like I literally have three full time jobs. And I just kind of underestimated how much time would be required to do each of the things that I need to do. And this is where I found that actually deadlines might not work in all situations. Like I know that how in school and in our workplace, we always have deadlines for certain projects because that's how things go. But I think in a creative process, especially for someone like me who is trying to do quite a few things at a time, sometimes having a deadline might not be the most helpful things. Like I kind of need to give myself time to let life happen to me, to let the creative process happen in order to help me achieve the results. So at this moment, what I'm trying to do is to just focus on my next steps towards where I want to go. And I've kind of removed all these arbitrary deadlines that I've kind of set up earlier in this year. The thing is, I've not really launched a digital products business before. And I've not done it concurrently with creating like weekly podcast episodes before as well. So the deadlines that I set at the start of this year is kind of not as realistic as I thought it would be. And right now, I'm just really focusing on my next step and my next step and the next step because 
my core intention is to create. And as long as I'm creating and I am moving towards that direction, I think I've already succeeded, right? Okay, of course, I still have my goals and like the business revenues that I want and all that stuff. But I think I'm just, I I guess what I mean is I just want to not be too stressed out. And I still want to celebrate all this wins that I kind of had in the past six months and I guess that's kind of what I like the take-home message that I want for you today and that is to really let your intentions or your word of the year guide you as you move forward in the next six months if you have already chosen a word of the year and you knew what your intention was I hope that this episode would remind you of it and to really just focus on your intention as you move forward. Like, yes, New Year's resolutions and goals are important. And that is because wherever you want to go, you need to have a destination. You need to have a place that you are aiming for. But the thing is, you need to also remember why are you going to that place? Because the last thing you want is for you to arrive at your destination and realize like, okay, so what now? Like, why was I doing all of this? Like, if you don't have a why, it will all be meaningless. Okay? And having said that, I also want to take this chance to kind of update you about what I've been up to on the business front. So what I've been trying to do is I'm actually recreating all the digital solutions and templates that has allowed me to manage my day-to-day life so that I can do so many things in my life. Like I said earlier, I still have a full-time job. I am a content creator and a podcaster and I am launching a business online. And it is a lot but I'm able to kind of manage it. And I want to share these templates with you because it has helped me so much. I truly think that life is meant to be lived and I want to help you to get the most out of your life. And so I want to share with you the solutions that has helped me to kind of achieve that. If you are interested in this template, you can fill up the form that I have in my show notes and I would update you more when they are ready to launch. And that's all that I have for you this week. I hope that you have an amazing second half of 2024. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.